Hello everyone, uh, this is Kate, and for this video I'll be showing a quick and easy rundown on how to create a pillow looking object using 3ds Max and the cloth modifier. Let's jump into it! So first you're going to want to open up uh, 3ds Max and start a new project. And firstly we are going to create just a simple box over in the standard primitives. Just create a box here. And for this tutorial, I'm going to just change the length to about 40, the width to 60, and then the height to 1. If you want your project to look similar to mine, just follow these, but you can obviously adjust them to however you like and see fit. So I'm going to change the segments as well. If we just go into here and turn on... There you can see that the segments are sort of roughly the same. So then we're going to go over to the modify tab. We're going to modify list and pick the cloth modifier. From there, we're going to want to go into this button, which is the objects properties. Select the box, which is this one here. And click cloth. So it runs on the cloth modifier and we're going to do the pressure up to about 30 and then press OK down here. From that we are going to now simulate and start the simulation. We're going to press simulate local. When we do press it the motion will start and whenever you're happy with the shape of your pillow looking object press the simulate local again. I'm going to do that now. You can see it like exploding, so I'm going to do a big fluffy pillow like this. From there, we're going to want to come over to the pillow and right click, come down on this tabs to convert to, convert to edit, uh, editable poly. Yep. And from there, we are going to want to press edge. I'm just going to pan down a little bit so you can see the corner a bit more. Because we're going to make the seam here. We're going to press the edge button. I'm going to select one of these. And then we're going to come over and press this button called ring, which will select all of them around the edge. From there we're just going to right click and connect them there. So now they're all connected on that line. So starting off with this we're going to want to uh, chamfer this edge. Let me zoom in a little bit. Actually no, it's all good. We're going to want to chamfer and don't press just here, just press this little one so you can get the menus here. Zoom up a little bit. First one, we're going to do the edge chamfer and mount. We're going to do that about, not too much, but about, yeah, around there. So there's like a little gap here and enough room in the middle. I'm going to bump that up to two, so it's about even in there. And press select and connect that. And we're going to want to go into this middle line and instead of pressing ring, if we press ring, it'll ring around here. But we don't want that, we want loop. We want loop. So it'll go around here. It'll loop around. And from that we are going to want to right click again and not chamfer but extrude this time. It'll, be, it'll start out at 10 so it'll be a bit crazy but we're going to want to drop that down to about maybe yeah maybe there that looks good maybe we can go that up a bit yep and then if we rotate you can sort of see that it's chamfered in and extruded nicely to create that seam but it can still be 
It's changed a little bit. If we take that off, you can see there's a seam now. But we can also go into the modifiers list again and choose Turbo Smooth and bump that up into about two or three iterations. We can see it's like smoothed out now. Lift that up a bit. And there you can see. We've got a nice pillow now. Let's change that. We've got a nice pillow. You can obviously adjust all those things to how you want, but this is just the, the basic way I would do it to make a pillow looking form. There you go. Thank you for watching.